Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Tone here, Wicked Artist from Canada. Go. Today, we're back in the building. Today, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to sit back and relax and make room sprays with me. We are going to make room linen, car fresheners, all in one with this simple, easy step. Um, so, without no further ado, oh, before we go any further, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Drop me a comment, like, everything that you can do in order to support the channel. I'll be greatly appreciative of it. Now, without no further ado, we're going to jump into this, all right? So, room sprays is one of the most significant and well-needed um, assessments or accessories to your house, uh, to your office, to your car, any anywhere that there's an odor. That's what this is about. That's what candles is about. That's what room sprays is about. So, what you have to understand is, is when we're making room sprays, okay, um, there's typically two ways that you can do this. The first typical way is, is you can make it off of a, uh, a recipe that has uh, polysorbate 80, um, distilled water, fragrance oil, uh, a preservative, and uh, witch hazel. All right. Or you can go to the route that I'm going this time. I want to make it clear. The first route that normally makes, it makes it a little cloudy. All right, so we generally use, um, when I first started making room sprays, I generally was using like uh, darker bottles because it's cloudy and things like that. Now, I'm going into the clear bottles, as you can see right here. We're gonna make a, we're gonna make a batch of four, uh, but we're gonna use products based off of a simple recipe that I got from Macy, AKA Wooden Wick. All right, so today we're gonna use, again, these four ounce clear bottles from Uline. We're gonna use organic witch crafted, wild crafted witch hazel from Maxi. And my choice of fragrance is going to be mango and coconut milk from Candle Science, all right? So without no further ado, if you're ready to do this, let's do this because I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this with you, all right? We're gonna jump in here, we're gonna make these room sprays. It's simple, it's so simple. A five-year-old can do it if shown the proper way with the proper mechanics oh by the way i'm at my workstation uh the new stainless steel uh, work table came in stick around i tell you we got this from amazon man it wasn't bad it wasn't bad price at all but we're gonna jump in here don't pay attention to all of the other stuff because i got my presto pot i got oh i almost forgot you're gonna need a pour pitcher you're going to need a scale and you're going to need something to mix with. I almost forgot some of the most important parts of this video. All right. So let's get into it. As you can see, we had the table set up. We got our scale. We're going to turn our scale on. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you uh, basically, you know, the complete mixture, which is rather simple. So I'm going to move some things close. We're going to move some things around just so we can get a better, better picture of what's going on. All right. You see that? All right, so the digital scale, Amazon, pull pictures, Amazon. Like basically, if you're on a budget, you need to be shopping at Amazon. Or if you're smart, we'll do a video about this somewhere down the line. You line because you line, you get to have a net 30 account, which helps build business credit. Okay. Now, first things first. I always want to make sure, as you can see, you always want to make sure that you have stuff to clean up in case you got a little slight little mess you know i want to set things down because i'm gonna put my tops on her my lids and just just to be on a neat and blended side so as I, as you can see as we prepare this we're gonna take this off now this pour picture that i'm using is it has a spout on it a lot of times you see people when they're making uh youtube videos and they're making the um, room sprays. They have a small tip funnel. I used to have them. They're so small, they get on my nerves. We're just going to keep it all the way 100 with you, okay? Now, I'm going to pick this up and show you, all right? If you can see that, I'm tearing this out, which, you know, gives me zero. I'm not paying attention to the, I don't want to measure the the the, the uh, uh, pour pot here. I just want to make sure it's zero, the organic wildcrafted witch hazel, we're using a whole bottle. This one bottle 
one bottle makes four room sprays of a certain fragrance, all right? So, just gonna pour the whole thing in here. Like I said, it's so simple with this, with this particular form. Makes he makes things a lot easier for you. You don't have to do a whole lot of measurements. You don't have to do a whole lot of anything, okay? Now, it's 16.1 ounces in there. If you can see that, 16.1 ounces. So basically, we're going 0.66 um, for our fragrance slow. Again, we're using uh, mango and coconut milk, and trust me, this smells amazing, all right? I made a test uh, candle with this. Love it, all right? So I'm gonna turn this out again. Again, it's at zero now, but we turn it out. And we're gonna put in 0.6, all right? So we'll do it this way so you can see it. A couple good splashes. I don't know if you can see that. A couple good splashes. Make sure, there we go, just a little bit more, just a, there we go. Just to give it a nice little strong scent. You don't want it to be too strong. But then now, now comes the fun part. You just take it for two minutes, you just stir it up. So for two minutes, I can talk to y'all. So basically, let me give you a little bit of backstory about Wicked Artistry, how we came about. So, Wicked Artistry was a 15-minute conversation that turned into a full-fledged business one evening on a Sunday. It popped up just around about COVID. Uh, my wife and I were sitting around talking, and uh, what happened was is I was starting to get a little down. Everything was shut down. I, I, I have to say, I am socially, uh, I have social anxiety, so when I get around a lot of people, I tend to clam up. Uh, so, this is my... This became a release for me, uh, doing something that I could do handcraft. I'm able to use my hands. I'm able to do a whole lot of stuff with it. Uh, and so basically what you do is, it's like uh, I registered a business and started making candles. Now, real quick, before I could even go any further with that, I decided that the purpose for me to make these candles were so I could literally just go and, you know, sell them to the guys at work. And they could take them home to their wives, girlfriends, significant others, whatever. Turned out the guys was my, my biggest customer. Uh, two weeks, I made over, a little over $2,000 uh, just off test products. I wasn't the candle chandler that I am now. And I, it became a very well, well suited hobby for me, which turned into a well suited business. All right. So you have to understand something. If you have a passion, for anything, please believe me that you can take your passion and turn it into a business, all right? So I always wanna check, make sure I get all little simple particles out. Sometimes you can get dust in here and you don't wanna do that. So you wanna just take, make sure everything comes out smooth before you pour them into your bottles and distribute it to your customers, all right? So I got them up to where I can get to it. And we're good to go. Our next step is pour them in the bottles, all right? As you can see, we've got the pour. And trust me, it looks cloudy now. As you can see that, it looks a little cloudy. But when it's all said and done, it turns out to be a nice, clear mixture. All right, so again, room sprays are significant. You, you can take it, make a relaxing line, like this is gonna be part of a relaxing line. And basically what that relaxing line is going to be, is going to be stuff you can basically run into like at the day spa. You can spray it on your linen. Uh, we have a lavender vanilla we're going to put together. 
These are relax, relaxation room sprays, along with the candles. All right. So please believe me when I tell you, every order is basically thought out. So as you can see, we are filling these up. And on the bottles, on the bottles, you want it to, I'll show it to you. On the bottles, you want it to feel about right around, right around this area here, all right? You don't want to go too far, but sometimes you might have a little excess. Just try to get as much of it in there as you can. You don't want to waste. And I, I guarantee you, these will be a hit with your family members and everyone around you, no matter what season it's in. All right. So second to the last thing we do is we put the tops on, make sure they're on pretty tight. All right. Because even after the, the development, we let, we like to let them set for 24 hours to let the, you know, the fragrance oil and everything blend in and that's basically it man i mean we just made four special orders for our line as you can see we are right here all right the candles are gonna go in here we'll come up with a name and we'll put them on the site we'll all right so we just them. finished making our room sprays for uh signature well not our signature line but our relaxation line um check it out man if you're looking for any candle like we have four or five i think we right now we have two that's up three will be finished up by the end of the week four and five the signature marble and the relaxation line um they're coming soon man but we got the whiskey roll we got the matted black we got the classic collections all right everything is done by me done by myself Wicked Artistry Candle Co. It's wickedacandles.com. That's W-I-C-K-E-D-A candles.com. Link will be in the description below. Okay? Hey, thank you for stopping by, man. It's your boy, Tone, Wicked Artistry Candle Co. We got wax to melt, all right? Because we lit over here. I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all, man. Peace.